Ich habe schon mal. 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 Ich habe schon Ich habe everyone welcome to another beautiful video today's video is all about how to roast corn on the streets <laughs> on the streets so i met this woman she was about to roast in the corn and i've never for once seen where somebody starts roasting and start selling as for business so i decided to stay back to watch how she's roasting corn and i know you'll be interested in seeing how they roast corn on the streets of ibadan so she said she just got this corn today and it's fresh corn i was even arguing with her that in the corn in the season this is december for goodness sake where do you get your corn from she said she was able to get corn i was surprised and this is what she does this is how she makes money. This is her business. This is her life. So she and she puts the charcoal and plays the gloss on it and stuff funny. So when she's doing this, when she's doing this, her daughter is here to assist with the roasting of the corn. And getting corn in this season, I was actually thinking, would this corn be sweet? And uh, let, you can put it in comment section. Have you ever tasted corn this December? Because I believe once the rain is over, then you can get fresh corn. But uh, it's so surprising that hmm, this woman, she was able to get corn this December. So I want to know if in your area, you still get corn in this season. I don't mean just corn. I mean fresh corn, freshly harvested corn. And so to roast the corn, she has um, the shako and the fanning of the shako, which to me is a long process. But I don't mind waiting to see how this shako, the corn is going to get ready. But she persists. You can see it has started changing. Whoops. <laughs> you can see it has started changing. And... Um, I felt okay. Let me see. This is a. I waited for her to make sure that everything she's doing, I'm recording. Uh, she was even laughing. Still surprising to me that you can actually get corn December of all time and it's fresh corn not old corn not dry corn the fresh corn this season and when i look at the cones they are so big she wasn't having anyone that is small they are all big cones and it was so shocking before i knew it immediately people have started coming around to start buying the corn so i was like ah even in my mind i was like should i go into this corn roasting business on the street because it's like it's making cool money you feel pity for those that are selling on the road that, oh, are they going to survive? But before I knew it, this thing was actually going off gradually. And she's selling for 100 
some 100 some 150 some 200 but when she called it 200 for some people they will say no they can buy a corn for 200 so the least they can buy is 150 and this is she has been selling even somebody just came when they saw her in fact look at this big it's this corner so big i was like wow this is a very very big corn and fresh that is one surprising thing about this corn so somebody came in before i knew what that happened, like she's buying the fresh one she wants to make um beans and corn combination so i was like wow so you can even come around and get your fresh corn from her even if you don't want the roast one so i felt this is a cool business the street business that hmm, is giving some people cool cash <laughs> Hey. <laughs> and I saw that the corn is getting that is people are really coming around to buy. So I asked her that way too. You didn't make any announcement. You didn't shout out to people to come around and buy. And they started coming around. That's what she now said. That's how she sells her market. That once she put anything down like this, people will start coming and start buying. So it's, you know, for those of us that we are not used to this type of life, because I was actually wondering, will she need to market? Will she need to call people and say, look, I have corn, come around and buy? But she said, no, she doesn't need to call anybody. All she just do, let her just start fanning and roasting. They will eventually come around. I say, wow. One interesting thing about this place is Kai, the sun is out of this world. It's so hot, but I have to stand inside the sun. Even had I was roasting inside the sun, I was actually asking her, is she surviving? She said she's used to it, that this is not the first time she has been doing this business for a very long time. So she doesn't even feel if she's under the sun. And that really surprised me, how these women are surviving and they're going through a lot of pain to make money and... The most interesting thing you might want to know about these women that sells on the road, they seem happy <laughs> because she was just smiling, doing her things. I was like, okay. So along the night, she said, no, madam, you must taste this corn. I said, no, I don't like this type of corn. She said, you have to. So I collected it from her. <laughs> So hot. This is fresh corn. I'm enjoying fresh corn on the street of Ibadan. You can see. In front of the mommy that is roasting corn. See enjoyment. She just gave me this one for taste. Mm. And it's so sweet. It tastes like milk. And it's fresh corn. Here they say Ibe ni bado. This is Ibe ni bado.